Good evening, everyone. Time for another member update. Now, this is the US dollar Chinese yuan cross. You can see the trend line I've drawn in. It's a very significant trend line. The dollar is on a perpetual downtrend against the Chinese currency. As I said, for the longest time, it's going to one to one and beyond. We can see that that continues. If we pull out a little bit farther, you can see how long this downtrend has been going on. So since about 2006 or so, the dollar has lost roughly 25% of its value against the Chinese currency. And it's going to continue. I believe when silver reverses, then the dollar is really going to start losing value against silver. You can see this double bottoming pattern that we're putting in. A blue horseshoe had asked me to cover some coins expecting a smackdown soon so I think that's a really good idea if we go to the two hour we can see silver trying to put a bottom in but if we get a quick visit back down to 19 or the low that we had all the way back here at about 18 then it might be time to pick up some some more silver so Let's go over to the picks that I did. I went through my favorites sites. They're not my favorite sites because I get any kind of money from them or anything else. They're just my favorite sites because they're the places I've purchased silver from all of these places and never had any problems. And they're the ones that have the best supply and usually find that I find the best deals for what I'm looking for from these sites. So let's start off with Atmex and I went through a couple of ones that were as you know I, I love the Perth Mint Lunar Series 2. I looked at some Kookaburros. I looked at some uh, some of the Koalas and there were some that were down around 23 to 24 but this one really jumped out at me because if you remember this coin this grizzly coin from the RCM was following the wolf up. The wolf is still around 50, 60 bucks. But I saw this price here for 28.98. Now, admittedly, that is a significant premium over spot. But I think that if you're the gambling sort, this may be a good deal. My, it's my opinion that this grizzly coin, and this isn't with spots or anything. This is something I guess they got some in but uh, at 2898 for a hundred or more I don't think you can really lose on this one although this one is you know significantly above spot we're talking almost 10 bucks probably on eBay these are going for around 40 would be my guess so that's going to be my pick from Atmex now let's jump over to Gainesville and on Gainesville I also went with the RCM I hadn't seen this one before this is the 25th year anniversary on the maple leaf and the reason I think this is important is because the maple leaf is like the silver eagle it's the same every year I think that's kind of a negative for people who like semi numismatic bullion but with this price here at 2369 we're talking a little bit less than four dollars over spot that that may be a good play because that's a unique one for the series so that's my favorite on Gainesville over on Provident they didn't have a really big selection but I do like this two ounce year of the dragon coin from Perth there's a couple of reasons first of all to get a lunar series we're talking about twenty seven dollars here or so it's going to be about seven or eight above spot but lunar series tend to run much higher this dragon series is one that I've collected as much as I can and we have both the half ounce and the two ounce I refuse to pay the incredible premium they were demanding for the one ounce so I went with the alternative of 
the two ounce and the half ounce. Now I think this two ounce is going to be very in demand in China at some point. If you remember Jimmy Rogers said if you want to get rich you're not going to be able to do business in China but if you can find something that the Chinese want and sell it to them you're going to be a billionaire. So that's pretty good advice and I think these the Chinese are going to want these coins. Now the other reason why I think this is a good pick is because what I found in my experience is that the closer a coin is to not being available and this is 2012 so that's gonna go into unavailability at some point here with that low price I've purchased these two ounces in the past for as little as 52 as high as 62 that's still a very reasonable price for that coin and of course with that this Grizzly series being 2011 that's even more astounding that there's available when that rolls off and there aren't any available you're gonna see a significant premium in my opinion the last one I'm gonna to go to is the Tulving site now I did take note of the fact that we've got a dollar thirty nine above a, a spot per ounce special running and that's for 90 percent silver bags that's pretty good uh, above spot and for the 50 cent we've got a dollar 89 so you can get 50 cent half dollar thousand face ounce bag bag for a dollar 89 over spot it's going to cost you 269 for the walking lips but my favorite just because of the deal is just going to have to be this monster box of maple leaves for a dollar ninety nine over spot so that could be a very good deal I don't see how you could lose on that if you're just looking for bullion now if you remember I've always recommended watching the silver price for spikes because you can get quite an opportunity the reason why I cover those four sites as well is because those are sites who actually change their prices in real time in response to this fake paper comics price so when you get one of these down spikes if we go and move in a little bit hopefully we can find that still on the chart there's not a lot of time to trade I was buying at this point but I think I bought somewhere in here but you don't have a lot of time to trade at the low prices it's usually a spike so if you can catch it on the spike you might be able to catch a one or two dollar move on the downside and then that would give you the ability to say if you timed it right to pick up these maple leaves right around spot or you might be able to pick up these grizzlies for say 26 or 27 bucks that would be a fantastic deal especially because silver tends to snap back so those are my picks unfortunately I don't have any dry powder right now so I can't take advantage of them definitely in my opinion if I were going to buy silver right now I think that those Grizzlies at twenty eight twenty nine dollars is a can't lose opportunity so I'm not making any recommendations but I'm just telling you that's gonna be my favorite and we'll talk to you next time